Leo, welcome to your reading. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel with me, Adrian Nelson, Psychic Intuitive. The focus period for this reading is the 6th of the 22nd of June. It is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. Um, and we're sort of going to look at what you can look forward to with this whole sort of Mercury retrograde thing that's going on because there's quite a period that's sort of taking place until the 22nd of June. So whenever you obviously see it is the right time, but I wanted to focus on that period for you guys. Okay, so before we draw your tarot, which we're also going to clarify, let's first connect in our heart space. So for, oh, some of you have asked what is that down below over there. That is actually, um, oh my goodness, how can I forget this? Um, 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 I don't know, it'll come to me. But it's this beautiful um, crystal that is created from a meteorite which hit Earth a couple of, you know, when I say a couple of years ago, I mean yonks and yonks and yonks ago. Um, but let's connect in our heart space, amplifying energy. If it's safe for you to do so, close your eyes. If it's not, please don't. Taking a nice deep breath. Savoring the breath as we welcome in our guides and our guardians and our angels and <sighs> releasing the resistance. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Moldavite. Sorry. It's a little piece of Moldavite that I like to keep underneath my crystal ball because it amplifies the energy even more of the crystal ball itself, which is amazing. That is why I like to use it in all my readings. So just before I draw your tarot for you, Leo, I'm going to draw you a Law of Attraction card just to see what the universe would like to communicate to you at this particular point in time. Okay, Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels, what does Leo need to know? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Ascending, or even if you're cross-watching, you know, take the message as it resonates. What does Leo need to know? There's, okay, there's two cards sticking out now. What does Leo need to know? There we go. Alright, so you've got two cards and I'm going to take them both. It says that I attract the essence of my thoughts. I attract the essence of my thoughts. And if you think of this house as a thought, this is how it branches out. The thought is like a seed that you plant in the ground. Okay. And in the back it says, the law of attraction and its magnetic power reaches out into the universe and attracts other thoughts that are vibrationally like it and brings that to you. And so you are getting the essence of what you are thinking about, whether it is something that you want or something that you do not want. That's so important to remember. And then it says, my creative workshop process works for me. There with 11 new beginnings. And what is this card number seven? Number seven is always that step that you take that next step towards number eight, which is about infinity. Number seven is about a lot of hope. And, you know, you get all sort of like the seven energies um, like the seven main chakras, you know, um, and, and in biblical terms, seven is the, um, it's, it's a lucky number, you know, um, seven is, is, is meant to be a very lucky number. So it says my creative workshop process works for me there with 11, I'm um, in a circle, new beginnings. It says, if you will use your time with intention to collect data, that you may bring into your creative workshop, you will find every day to be one of fun. Your creative workshop is obviously as you go about creating the life that you'd like to live. All right, look how beautiful these two cards are together. Isn't this just awesome? Isn't this just absolutely amazing? All right, your thoughts bringing about what you are, what it is that you'd like to have in your life. All righty, let's do your tarot. Let's do your tarot, Leo. Let's see what we have for you. Just going to keep this one very simple, just a very simple three card draw. I always say to my students as well, you know, you don't have to have a whole table full of cards all the time. Even though when I do personal readings, you see cards all over the place and sometimes I use up to five decks, <laughs> you know. Um, but that's just because I like it. Let's see. Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels, what does Leo need to know? All right, so you've got some cards that went in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Tower in reverse. This is very good news. This is very good news. And the Page of Staffs, which is the Page of Wands. This is, this is excellent news, Leo. This is the kind of news that you really want to receive from a reading. This is absolutely amazing news. Okay, um, so let, let us just look at this individually. So you've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Now the Five of Pentacles, I'm just going to turn it around for you quickly there for a moment. 
And when you look at this, the Five of Pentacles is always about feeling left out. And the creator of this deck, they sort of made no bones about it. I mean, look at those snowflakes. They're like three times the size of your head. But this is sometimes how we feel, you know, in life. You feel left out in the cold. You feel like you've got no support, you know. Um, this is sort of you kind of going about in life, um, you know, sort of like you're on your walking stick trying your best. Maybe sort of tied up feeling cold. And, and this for me is a space of very much feeling cold on the inside because if you look at the one character, this person is very dressed up, whereas this person seems more sort of carefree and flowing, um, you know, and sort of um, seems like barefoot over there as well in the snow. So in general, this is a part of almost feeling um, left out in the cold, that you've sort of been done in, that uh, something unfair has been done towards you, but it's in reverse there in the recent past. So I like the fact that it's in reverse for you, Leo, because this is a space where, you know, you may have been in that energy where you're feeling sorry for yourself, where you felt left out in the cold, where you felt there was no hope, where you felt there was no solutions, but things started to turn around there for you. You know, things started to change there for you, Leo, and I'm very happy to see that. The tower in reverse, let's just turn it in the upright position for a moment. The tower in the upright position is that sort of experience in life that we don't always experience. What I like to call um, a blessing taking place and it doesn't feel like a blessing right now, okay? Um, this is a space where it feels like literally you're standing over there and somebody's waiting and got like, like a couple of people's got sort of like the edge of a carpet and the, you know they're waiting for you to walk and as you hit that carpet and you stand and you pose for the beautiful photograph they go one two three and you go like shoo, 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 flip, 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 through the air you know that is generally the experience of the tower but it's also a space that even though it feels overwhelming it is a cleansing energizing space it's a very transformative space it's those deep sort of rooted patterns within you that are not serving you well that are being cleared out basically being purged from you which is not always the best experience in life however bah -bah, yours is in reverse so first of all leo you've come a very long way because you've done the cleaning or, or the you know like the inner cleaning there was a time when you maybe felt left out in the cold you turned that situation around you you started to really beautifully find yourself you've done the healing so some of you at this point may actually feel that um maybe you need to still do some inner healing maybe you still need to do some inner alignment um maybe you feel for some reason that you sort of not um you know, adding up to what is being sort of expected of you or asked of you, you have done the hard work, okay? This is something very important for you to get from this message. You've done the hard work. You have sort of gone down to those, you know, deep pits of life that a person can go to. And I mean, I know all about those pits because I think even though I was born highly intuitive, my journey really became with conscious living, um, when I was busy writing my suicide notes, I was, I've completely given up. I felt there was no hope for me in this world, all right? And I feel that some of you, many of you have actually been there, but you, you threw the worst, okay? And what's coming towards you, the page of stars, the page of ones, this is a space that is asking you, how is it that you'd like to feel? How is it that you'd like to present yourself? How is it that you'd like to step forward? How is it that you'd like to, you know, kind of, um, you know, be seen by the world? And so to let you know, Leo, what I see going forward for you is that um, it's an amazing space where you can actually um, really start to build a beautiful new life for you in a sense of how is it that you want to feel how is it that you'd like to experience the future going forward so i feel that you're getting a space over there where you're getting some time to sort of like think to really get some clarity about what it is that you want to have in your life and to really start that new beginning okay i'm going to clarify this reading for you leo using the deviant moon tarot beautiful deck of cards and coincidentally both of these cards um, decks happen to be gifts to me from beautiful subscribers that I have. How lucky am I? How lucky, lucky am I? All right, clarifying this reading for Leo, Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels. What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to understand? Okay, 
this card actually fell over there initially so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to put it where it landed all right and this is why i like for you to see the reading that i do because you can actually see what i'm doing with your cards because you know at the end of the day um this is your life all right and me as a tarot reader, I've got a responsibility towards you with that life. So with the, with the Five of Pentacles there in your recent past, it was clarified by the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is a space of dreams coming true. It's a space of, um, you know, that energy of the wishes that we have. Um, it's almost like... You don't have to be celebrating Christmas to understand the concept, but, you know, it's almost like a child... Um, on Christmas morning and you know there's going to be gifts you don't know what they are but you already know that you're going to love them and um, so this five of pentacles is the long wait being over the long period of waiting being done for you there in your recent past and hope started to look up for you here I see that for many of you um, for many of the concerns that you had in the in the recent past and these could have been very long-standing concerns um, there was definitely a sense of hope that these things can get better Oh, well, now it makes sense to me why actually those cards had to be moved. So the tower in reverse is clarified by the hermit, all right? So many of you might be feeling, as, as we previously said, that you still need to do something, but this is a space of allowing. Many of you are tired in your bodies, you are tired in your, in your feelings, in your emotions. Um, you're basically tired of shining. So what you are really being encouraged is to take out some time to recuperate okay to to take some time for yourself and obviously if you're in a position where you know you can't just completely take out time because you still have earthly responsibilities um like work and kids and you know partners and those sort of things um maybe meditation taking some time out in your mind out in your mind practicing some conscious breathing you know um Something that I, for example, do because I like people, but sometimes I get very overwhelmed by people. If I go to a function and there's a lot of people over there and I begin to feel very overwhelmed by it, what I would, for example, do is I'll go out in the garden, I'll take a little walk or, you know, if maybe um, there's like a, like, a, like a bathroom or something like that. I just go there for five minutes and I just sit on my own, you know, I'm not, um, and I do this before I get overwhelmed. So that I don't feel that I almost need to run away from the space. So it's about being proactive with your energy. And many of you definitely need a beautiful bit of rest there. And this is a wonderful message for you here with Page of Stars, which is Page of Wands and the Four of Swords over here. The swords that you are getting the opportunity to put out and that I really want to encourage you to creatively put out, you are reaching for a great space in life. This is a really amazing message for you. This is you going to that next level. This is you stepping into that life. Um, because for many of you, it's almost like life was beginning to feel very sort of watered down, basically, like blah, blah, like, you know, like, um, like um, I don't know, cabbage soup that has been boiled too much and after a while it just doesn't have a lot of flavor, even though I personally do like cabbage soup. Um, but if you do boil it too much, then you sort of like, you know, you keep on throwing on water, 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 after a while you just sort of dim the flavor away um, because it is a delicate taste. Um, you're reaching for amazing strengths here. You're reaching for beautiful new beginnings there with the moon um, and with that new butterfly over there. You are reaching for incredible new stages in your life. I'm so glad that I'm getting to, to give you this particular message over here, Leo. And now, I'm not sure if I told you in the beginning of the reading I meant to, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three questions. So any three questions that you might be having on your mind, Leo, I'm going to draw you some cards for that and let's get you some answers okay let's get you some answers so first question spirit guides and guardian angels what is it that oh three cards my goodness what is it that leo needs to know listen to your intuition within the next few weeks and you are ready it's interesting because um what reading did i do last it was cancer that i'm um, listen to your intuition and the you are ready cards um, they both actually came out, all right? So know that you are ready. Listen to that. You know, our intuition is basically our GPS in this world, okay? And if you feel that maybe for whatever reason, what it is that your heart desires, you are not getting right away, um, maybe the other person needs or the other parties need some time to get ready, but you are ready. And um, I feel that your intuition is telling you that you are ready um, and that this is the right step for you. Um, so, you know, let's trust that intuition. Okay. 
Question number two, please. Spirit guides and guardian angels. What is it that Leo needs to know? What is it that Leo needs to know? Please give them clarity in ways that will only serve their greatest good. Ooh, two cards again. So, it says not the right time and reconsider. Okay. And sometimes when we get this particular sort of energy, we get very disappointed because we feel that this is what we want, this is what we want to have, you know, this is what we want to experience. So we're not very happy about the fact that we're told that it's not the right time. But I feel that for many of you, you actually realize this already within yourself, that this is not the right time for you. And let's see what is the third card. So third question, please. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is it that Leo needs to know? What is it that you need to know? Look for a sign. So you may be feeling at the moment that you are, you know, that life is maybe not going entirely for you the way that you'd like it to go. Everything maybe feels very sort of challenging and wrong and all those type of things. But look for a sign. And the universe is trying to communicate with you. The universe is trying to tell you something. And it is really wishing for you to get it, which is why it's saying look for a sign. Okay. All right, Leo, so that's what I have for you. I hope that helps. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, I'd really appreciate you liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Um, remember to hit that notification bell. I also have daily readings coming up. Thank you for all of you that are always supporting my channel. Thank you for the beautiful donations. If you'd like to have a personal reading, you can send me an email. My address is down below in the description. If you would like to learn how to read tarot for yourself, there's a link down below in the description as well. Do check it out. I'll see you next time. Bye.